Hello Redditors of the Internet, Noble Xenon here and welcome back to another Reddit video and today we will be looking at r slash anti-MLM part 25. Let's get started. Eek, I'm getting so close to earning this trip to Costa Rica. All I need is 4 new team members and $10,217 in products sold. All you have to do is place an order, book a party, and refer me to your friends, and like, comment, or share my posts. Except, in what world is $10,000 considered so close? For this next one, here we go again with the technically not a pyramid scheme stuff. Just for your own knowledge, our bond is multi-level marketing, but we are not a pyramid scheme. It is not against any laws, and there are many books on the subject that talk about the fact that eventually, MLM will be the only kind of work because artificial intelligence is gonna take over everything else. You know, you could probably automate sending these spam messages all over social media. Although, I don't want to give the Huns any ideas. This next one is titled, Used to date this girl and I always would give her credit for being so intelligent and just great at making the right decisions because I was always a sporadic one who didn't think things through. But then she posted this last night. Shh, I have some big news to announce soon. Disclaimer, I'm not pregnant or getting another cat, etc. Haha, <laughs> just stay tuned to my page and I'll spill the beans shortly. And this status posted this morning. So I have some big news. I've decided to start my own business from social media. Ah, a lot will be changing soon and I'm so excited. I'm not only doing this for myself, but for my family because I want to build a better future. Right now, I'm looking for product models. So if you're interested in reviewing some things out for a huge discount, I currently have six openings today. Except you know damn well you're not looking for product models. You're just looking for customers. Like, just say you're looking for customers. It's so annoying when people try to hide that fact. For this next one, someone asks, Facebook peeps, point me in a direction. I'm needing a job I can do that's flexible with the doctor's schedule. I miss so many big appointments and so much of my daughter with my last job and I just refuse to miss anything else. Help! And someone comments, It's free to join A. Avon this month. I made 45% of 55,000 last year selling A. Avon. Been doing this for seven years. Love it. Totally flexible. Like, why don't you just say the amount instead of 45% of 55,000 making people do all that math? And also, what's with the extra A? You done messed up, A. Avon. Anyway, this next one got approached by a Hunbot and is still waiting for a response they know they won't get. Hey girl, I am so excited. I joined a health and wellness company called ItWorks. I'm looking for six product testers. Would you like to see my openings? Hey, I charge a flat fee of $75 for product testing. Would love to test your products after payment. Let me know. And there was never a response again. Guys, I made a personal goal to sell $500 this week and I'm at $458. Can someone help me get there? Anyone got $50 I can borrow for a week? So what kind of convoluted logic is this? Is she gonna borrow $50 so she can buy some of the MLM product that she herself is selling? Just to get to the $500 goal? And it's gonna be tough to pay it back when you keep missing sales goals, huh? This next one signed up to go to a plant-based food cooking demo, but had no idea they were walking into an hour-long doTERRA commercial. Oh my goodness, please don't cook with essential oils. For this next one, once again, Huns are bragging about the smallest things. So grateful for my business, never have to worry about filling up the babe. And Muffin Pie 101 comments, Huns are clearly targeting people that already have financial insecurity, which makes them even more rotten than you'd initially think. Just despicable. This next one is someone in an anti-MLM Facebook group wrote an ode to Huns and it's the best thing I've ever seen. I do not want your herbal shake. I do not want your oil of snake. I do not want your free shampoo. I do not want to talk to you. I do not want your beach body and I do not want your jewelry. I will not put your leggings on. I do not want to buy our bond. Don't want to try your caffeine patch. Don't want a classy sex toy stash. Don't want your starter kit, it's true. I will not sell your crap for you. Ladies and gentlemen, feel free to send that to all of the Hunbots who constantly bombard you with messages. This next one is titled the 2020 It Works Conference Facebook event page has some really sad posts in a discussion session. People who are struggling to afford hotels, plane tickets, or looking to drive across the entire US. 
I know this is probably a super long shot, but I'm wondering if anyone is driving up through Oregon right now or getting ready to leave to go to conference. I'm not asking for myself, but I'm asking for my girlfriend. She is part of the team. Her plans to rent a car this morning fell through, meaning she's stranded here at home. She said that she doesn't know if she's gonna go or what her next move is or anything. We don't have enough money for a plane ticket, train, nor a bus, but we do for gas. If we had two cars, it would be a different story. She'd take one to go and I would have used the one other for work. I know she wants to go this year, it's all she's been talking about since she started the It Works team and since I bought her the conference ticket back in December. She wasn't able to go last year and she really wants to go this year and I really want her to this year. I'm just hoping someone on here knows anyone that is traveling through Oregon. I'm putting this out in God's hands and to whomever is reading this. I pray for everyone who is traveling to conference and back to their homes to be safe. Now if I'm not mistaken, this particular conference took place in Tampa, Florida. That is going to be one exhausting drive. And we have a comment from Echo Coco. I work at a nice hotel where some of these conferences are held. Our rooms are often more than $200 and our restaurants are not cheap. The people often come in and order the cheapest things on the menu and don't drink. They try to bring in their own booze, then they try to recruit hotel staff. They're very obviously not the clientele a resort usually caters to. I'd never work for a company that wanted me to travel to a swanky resort and expect me to pay for travel, stay, and meals. Yeah, I mean, usually when you have a business conference, the company pays for it, but of course, these MLM companies refuse to do so. For this next one, Random Snowflake did their part today. The Hun posted, first of all, those clapping emojis. I didn't make minimum wage, but it was still gonna cost us more money to send my kids to be raised by the help of someone else. It made sense for us. Network marketing came along in my life a little bit later and allowed me to continue to raise my kids and bring in an extra income, whether that's an extra 200, 2,000, or 20,000 a month. That was a no-brainer. Daycare average for two kids a month, $1,500. Working 40 hours a week for a month at minimum wage before taxes, $1,512. Think about that next time you tell a stay-at-home mom to get a job or hate on a mom in network marketing while home with her kids. And the response, and it is a beautiful response indeed. Oh god, the first half of this was a solid yes. Then she brought up network marketing. MLMs prey on women, especially stay-at-home moms, by luring them in with false promises in hopes of starting their own businesses and getting the pink Cadillac. According to research at the FTC, a whopping 99% of recruited sellers lose money in an MLM venture. That means just 1% actually turn a profit, which is generally just those at the very top of a recruitment structure. Furthermore, if you do the pyramid math 15 levels down, you run out of people on Earth. That's just one person on the pyramid. You're competing with tens of thousands who are working on their own pyramids. Actually, I think it depends on the number of people you need to recruit for each level, but you're still eventually going to run out of people, and it's unsustainable either way. Anyway, continuing on. Further still, these MLM businesses insist that you attend conferences and seminars which are charged for. At these conferences, you get a burst of inspiration as they bring the most successful product slingers on stage to talk about what worked for them. Then the CEO takes the stage and gives some emotionally charged speech, which is designed to make you feel a very specific way. Manipulation and a huge red flag. When I was with certain MLM, it usually meant the CEO tearing up on stage as she appreciated the crowd. I'm a solid no on this post. It's dangerous to think that this is okay. It's not. So many people have lost everything over MLM businesses. We should not be encouraging these scams. Once again, well said. This next one is a community happenings page. Welcome to Support Sunday. Every Sunday we will create a thread where you can post about your shops, online businesses, and Facebook groups. Enjoy! And in nice big capital letters, no MLMs. If you post your MLM, you will be muted for seven days. And if they continue posting MLMs, I think they should be banned. And thank goodness for pages like these, because MLMs tend to flood these types of pages and bump out the actual small local businesses. So you need to have a rule like this. For this next one, I think this is LinkedIn. Don't tell me the MLMs are invading there too. Hey, great to connect. How are you doing? Are you pretty locked into what you're currently doing or apart from your job, have you ever thought about wealth building, financial security, and entrepreneurship? Yeah, I'm interested, but this sounds suspiciously like the beginning of every pyramid scheme pitch I've ever heard. 
only uneducated people call things pyramid scheme. Please be educated before voicing your opinion. Looks like you're not seriously looking. Wish you good luck. <laughs> I would actually argue the exact opposite. Only educated people are able to sniff out a pyramid scheme before they get scammed. Good luck on expanding your downline, D-bag. All right, after all those posts of Huns trying to get people into MLMs, let's read a couple of cases of people getting out of them. Hey man, I just got a text from one of your partners at Cutco. Cutco's a huge scam that targets high school and college kids for sales work and terrible net pay, and I'd advise you to break even and get out. My mom lost tons of money to pyramid schemes and network marketing, as they say, due to the predatory nature of the business as a whole. Of course, it's your call. Just looking out for you, brother. Godspeed. I appreciate the looking out, bro, but I already got out of it. Hope you're doing well, man. Ah, thank God. Glad to hear it. It's easy to get roped into these things. Hope everything's going well for you as well. And another. My cousin has been an MLM fanatic for a while. I'm glad to see her getting out. Left job at 31 Gifts on February 21st. I may not be selling anymore, but I will always be a part of the big pink bubble. Hashtag sisterhood for life. And Origami Owl. Left job today. I'm a little concerned about that big pink bubble though. Let's hope Huns don't convince her into starting another so-called business opportunity. This next one says $29 per year is my required overhead for running my multi-million dollar company. Excuse me, but do you own Arbon, the company? I don't think so. But is that an Arbon logo ring? What the hell? This next one. It keeps happening in many different places. Plenty of unfortunate Lularo patterns at the local consignment sale, especially on the floor. This just looks so sad. And talking about Lularo, this next one was from a former consultant. I've been pursuing many of these posts and comments, and one common sentiment I see throughout is along the lines of, how can someone be this dumb? I was that dumb. I'm an educated person. I have a college degree. But I got sucked into the craze in 2016. I had friends who really were making tons of money. One friend's husband actually quit his job because she was doing so well. And at the time, there were a lot of cute prints. Some were ugly, but overall, they weren't bad. I was a stay-at-home mom, hadn't had a real job in years, and was desperate to earn some extra money. Getting a real job wasn't feasible. Daycare would have eaten up a whole paycheck, so it would have been pointless. I hosted a party and it was really fun. I had a friend with another pop-up party and it was a blast. I saw all these people around me doing it and being incredibly successful. It didn't feel like every other MLM I was familiar with. I started thinking that maybe I really could make some money doing this. I felt like it really was possible to just sell the clothes and not even worry about having my own team. So I signed up. My parents gave me the $5,000 to get started. I knew I'd be able to pay them back within six months. Did I hit up my friends and family? Yes, I did, and a bunch of them loved participating. But I also relied heavily on Facebook sales from LuLaRoe groups. I actually sold quite a bit and was able to pay my parents about three grand in six months. But that's where it got completely saturated and crap started hitting the fan within the company. I probably netted 250 to 400 bucks a month after all was said and done. About eight months into it, I saw the writing on the wall, and let me tell you, I felt unbelievably, incredibly stupid. I still do, to this day, four years later. I'm embarrassed that I got so duped. I ended up losing thousands of dollars and got stuck with hundreds of pieces of inventory that I just could not sell no matter what I did. It's so embarrassing, and I try to forget that whole period of my life where I was naive and stupid as hell. And the worst part was when I could see that people around me saw me as such. It's easy to judge and make fun of the women who get involved in these types of schemes and question their intelligence, but you never know what kind of background they've had that fostered an environment where they could be duped no matter how intelligent they are. You know, with so many MLM posts, it's easy to think that everyone who sells MLMs is either stupid or manipulative. But in reality, the real manipulative ones are the companies 
who somehow convince even quite intelligent people to fall for these MLMs. A lot of this is because they target people who are in vulnerable situations, which is actually quite similar to what cults do. So yeah, just think about that for a moment as we move on. Anyway, this next one is a tweet. I will no longer dim my light and shy away from sharing a solution because the bondage on your mind says this is a pyramid scheme, which are illegal in the United States, by the way. Google it. Want to know what a pyramid scheme is? Your job. Okay, this is why you have to think before you tweet. So you're telling me that any business that has any kind of hierarchy, which is the vast majority of businesses, is illegal. Under your logic, at least. At first glance, this next one looks like it's gonna be a deep emotional message. But when you read it, I walk around like I'm okay. But deep down, I wanna buy more Sensi. And for this last one, Lularo is announcing their exclusive cruise necklace. Reminder, pre-order your 2020 cruise necklace now. Hello, just a quick reminder that the deadline is approaching to order your cruise necklace. The pre-order form will be closing at 5 p.m. Pacific time today. If you've not submitted your pre-order, you've only got a few more hours. The beauty of this necklace is definitely in the detail. This stunning triangle pendant gracefully hangs from a chain made and imported from Italy. Sure to turn heads, the Lularo cruise necklace radiates eloquence, leaving its lasting impression on all who see it. At this point, Lularo is just being the ultimate troll. Like, what better way to show that you're in a pyramid scheme by wearing a literal pyramid? Well, it's a triangle, not a pyramid, but close enough. Anyway, I would like to thank all of my patrons, especially Coberti, Forever Tired, Spoonie the Rogue, Seth Southwell, and Peter Dankledge. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.